Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here. And in this quick video today, I just wanted to share a YouTube strategy with you that I'm currently using that's been working really well for me. I was just looking at some of my analytics and um, just thought I would share this with you in case anybody wants to learn a very simple strategy that you can use to just get more bang for your buck on YouTube. Um, before I get into it, I just want to apologize. I am house sitting, dog sitting right now. I don't have my normal microphone here. So hopefully the sound quality is okay. And also just a heads up, I've got four dogs. My dog is right there. And then there's three other dogs right here. Right now they're all sleeping. So hopefully they will stay asleep while I make this video. And, um, and there's also a cat roaming around here somewhere. So <laughs> just giving you a heads up about that. Okay, so let me share with you my YouTube channel and I'll show you what's been happening and what I've been doing that's been working really well. So here are my analytics. So this is what's been happening in the last 28 days on my channel. So, you know, it says I've gotten 8.1 thousand views, 458 more than usual. Uh, my watch time hours 291.9 which is 21.9 more than usual and i've gotten 83 subscribers in the last 28 days which is 22 more than usual so um really what i've the the main thing that i've changed that has been kind of helping me get more momentum on my chat on my channel that um i think is really starting to pay off is that every time um so if you guys follow me on youtube if you subscribe to my youtube channel you know that you know i put out videos to help you like that provide value to help you in some way with your marketing and so forth and so um that's the kind of content that i put out and every time i put out a new video i have a process that i go through to promote my video across social media and email it out to my list and different things like that. And um, if you guys want my process, I have a free 12 step checklist that you can have. And I'll leave a link to that under this video. Um, so I've been doing that for years, like that, the, the way that I promote my videos, I've been doing that for a really long time. But one thing that I've been doing, you know, in the more recent past, that's definitely starting to really help my channel is that each time I create a longer, you know, YouTube video, uh, like a, a normal size video on YouTube, I also always create a short video that goes on um, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Pinterest, YouTube, and Facebook that lets people know that I have a new video on YouTube so that they can easily, you know, come over to my YouTube channel if, if that's something that they, that they wanna learn. You know, I tell them what I'm teaching in that video and then if, you know, it, it helps me to drive traffic to my YouTube channel. So that's been helping really well. But the cool thing about it is where I think I'm really get, starting to gain momentum is through YouTube Shorts because although I am getting traffic from the other platforms, what's cool about YouTube Shorts is that when people watch one of my short videos, they can subscribe from my right from my short or in the description of my short, I can put a link directly to the long video. So it's really easy for me to send traffic directly to that specific video that I'm talking about. And then the other thing that I've been doing is in a lot of my shorts, I'll do like a verbal call to action where I will let people know verbally how to search for my name and whatever the keyword is on YouTube so that they don't even have to click anything. So that way, if they're coming from TikTok or Instagram, for example, and they don't want to go, you know, they can click on my the link in my bio, which will give them a bunch of links. One of them is my YouTube channel, and then they can go over to my YouTube channel and look for the video. But I also let them know, like, if you just go to my channel, I mean, if you just go to YouTube and search for like, Amy Star Allen AI, for example, one of my latest videos was about artificial intelligence. Then that video and other videos that I've made on this topic will come up. And that's been really helpful too, because what that does is it just gives you more juice as far as SEO on YouTube when people are actively searching out your name like that. So um, let me just give you some examples of some of the stuff that I've just mentioned. 
Okay, so if I come down to like my top content for this period, like you can see how many views I've gotten on each of these videos and stuff. And you can see that, you know, like I have these shorts that oftentimes get more views than my longer videos, which what's cool about this is although my shorts might not be getting me as many subscribers, some of, some of them get me a few subscribers, but what it's good for is channel awareness. Like some of the people that see my shorts end up coming over to watch my longer video and that's where I'm getting my subscribers. So let me show you an example. So for this short, um, so it got 635 views and I, I gained five subscribers from this short. And that's just, this wasn't promoting another video. This is just a short that I did. And again, every time I do a short form video, I repurpose it across Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Pinterest, and Facebook. So this particular short, for example, on Instagram got 4,396 views. So just as a side note, if you're doing short form video, it's good to repurpose them across platforms because some platforms will push your short out to more people than others. So YouTube pushed my short out to 635 viewers and Instagram pushed it out to over 4,000 viewers, right? And the cool thing about these viewers, which is why this is helping my channel to get momentum, is that these are people that are not subscribed to my channel. These are people, a lot of them don't even know who I am. And that's true on all of the short form video algorithm platforms. So when I post a short on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube shorts, people that don't know who I am are seeing these videos. And that's why it's so cool that I can like do a video about a YouTube video that I've made, letting people know that I have this new video that's gonna teach them X, Y, Z, and then tell them how to get over to my YouTube channel and watch that video. Because now I'm getting these short videos in front of people that don't know who I am, and I can get them over to my YouTube channel where they can then subscribe so that they can see more of my videos as I publish them. Okay, so here's a video that I did letting people know about one of my, uh, a new video that I have available. So see, it got me one subscriber, but, you know, it got 424 views, but what it did was it brought traffic to my video. This is the video itself. And this video gained me seven subscribers, right? So, that's really cool. And then, you know, here's another um, video where I did the same thing. I made a short video to let people know about this video and this video gained me 29 subscribers. So I love this process of using short form video to get in front of more people just to bring them into my life and see me like, you know, whether it's just a normal short form video or where I'm talking about a longer video that I did. And from there, you know, what's great about YouTube is you can put a link in your description, like right on my short, I can put a link in the description where people can click through to my long video. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, so this is the short that I did for my latest, one of my latest YouTube videos and you'll see I have a link directly to the YouTube video in, I have a pinned comment here. So if somebody comes into the comments, they can click through to go to the full video there. And then also in the description, it says watch the full YouTube video here. And when they click on it, Hi guys, it takes Amy them over Starrow. to the full video. So this has been, um, it's just really helpful because YouTube, you know, lets you share your links in your description and it's really easy to move someone from a short video over to your full video. And my full length videos are where I'm gaining most of my subscribers. And I just wanted to show you how I do that verbal call to action, which I think is really, really helpful, especially when you're sending people to a video from another platform. Like I said, these videos are all on Instagram and TikTok and so forth. So at the end of the video, I'll let people know, like you can just search for Amy Star Allen and then whatever the keyword is for my video. That way I'm getting some actual searches on YouTube for my videos. And it also just makes it easy for people to find my stuff. Not to mention a lot of the keywords that I use, I have 
you know, several trainings on. So when someone search, does a search for that particular keyword, they're not just going to find the video that I just told them about, but they're going to find a bunch of other videos that I've made on that same topic, which keeps them on my channel longer. Hopefully I can serve them on a deeper level by doing that, you know, by giving them multiple videos on that topic. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'll just show you the, how I do the verbal call to action at the end of this video. You generate leads for your business or to build rapport with your audience. I have a new video that will help you in it. I went over the primary way that I generate leads in my business. I gave you a little bit of a look behind the scenes to show you how I use links pages to build rapport with my audience and how I create custom freebies to generate more leads in my business. The combination of those two things works wonders in my business and I just created a brand new video to show you exactly how I do it. Just head over to my YouTube channel and go to this video right here. You can also just go to YouTube and search Amy Star Allen Generate Leads and you'll find this video and others that I've created on this topic. Enjoy, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget. So did you see how I did that? I showed them where to find it on my YouTube channel. And on all these platforms, there's a link in my bio that will take them to my YouTube channel. But I also told them that they can search Amy Star Allen Generate Leads on YouTube, right? I'm giving them this verbal call to action. So what happens is when they go over to YouTube and search for this, they're going to see other videos that I've created about generating leads. So let me show you that. So if someone comes over to YouTube and searches for Amy Star Allen, generate leads you'll see there's the video and then it also brings up these other videos that I've made seven ways to generate Facebook leads YouTube marketing hack so you know so when they do a search this way they're gonna find some of my other videos as well YouTube just serves them up for them because they're searching my name with the keyword so I do this in my shorts as well and then again, when somebody actually searches for your name on YouTube, it just helps you with um, the algorithm as well. Just, you know, when YouTube sees people searching for your name, that's a good thing. So um, another example that I was gonna share with you is the AI example. So if you give somebody a verbal call to action, um, I gave a verbal call to action in my one of my latest shorts saying search for Amy Star Allen AI because the video that I was talking about was about artificial intelligence. So I just, I, I make it like a, a really easy to remember part of the main keyword, so AI. So if they search for Amy Star Allen AI, it's gonna bring up videos that are by me that have AI in the keyword. So when we search for this, you'll see, here's my latest video four days ago that comes up. But then I have this other video that's about AI that was streamed three months ago and I have some short videos about AI. So all of this stuff comes up when they do a search for Amy Star Allen AI. So this is why I love these verbal calls to action because they can just easily go to YouTube, type in my name and whatever keyword I tell them and find a bunch of content on that topic which will hopefully help them with what they need. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That is just a little addition to my standard YouTube promotion that I've been doing for years. Again, if you want my checklist of all the steps that I do to promote my YouTube videos, I will leave that below this video. I also have um, a full training that I did on short form video. It was like four days worth of training, like an hour per day, where I walk you through step by step how to you know, how to create short form videos, like how to actually create them, what to create them about, different types of short form videos, how to generate leads from your short form videos, how to repurpose them across platforms. And that training is exclusively available for HBA premium members. It was a training that I, I did for um, our company. So if you would like access to that, a lot of people have um, given me a lot of really, really great feedback about that training and, um, and are loving it. So if you would like access to that, I will also leave you a link to a trial of HBA Premium so that you can find that in your back office and go through it and um, see, see all the other, there's a lot of other really cool training back there on YouTube and all kinds of other marketing strategies, Facebook, Facebook Live, all kinds of stuff that you can learn back there. 
The other thing that you'll get during that um, during your trial period is you'll be able to access all of our live Zoom masterminds. So we do seven live Zoom masterminds per week where you can get um, get on Zoom with us. You can watch over the shoulder of some really experienced marketers that are getting great results with their marketing and watch them do their work. We have um, one of our masterminds every week is a what's working now where we bring out a couple of people that are maybe newer that are just starting to get um, traction and results in their marketing and they share with us exactly what they're doing. So anyway, we have a lot of really amazing live training available and that's all included in the premium membership. So if you take the trial, be sure and jump on a lot of those live trainings as well because I think you'll be pretty amazed at the level of support and training that you will receive. So I will leave a link to that below this video as well. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you in the next video.